Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 uh, 2022 TV shows ranked. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Starting off with number 10, we have Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan Season 3. I loved this season. It was a great season. John Krasinski was amazing in the show, of course. And yeah, uh, it was just a bunch of fun. I loved watching the season. Uh, I liked to be the cliffhanger left off in Season 3 and on the final episode. Very excited to see where this season goes, uh, next season goes. If we do get a season four, I really hope uh, we do. But, you know, I really did enjoy season three. I'm very excited to see more of this show. John Krasinski absolutely knocks it out of the park in this role. And, yeah, number ten for me was Tom Clancy's uh, Jack Ryan season three. You should definitely check this show out. It's so much fun. Number... Nine for me is Moon Knight. Moon Knight is an awesome show. It has a great cast to it. Uh, you got Oscar Isaac, Ethan Hawke, great cast. Never really knew much about Moon Knight. I was like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a Marvel show. I'll check it out. I learned more about it by watching the episodes. And I love this show. It's so much fun. And yeah, just so much fun. And I cannot wait to see where the show goes, because well, hopefully if we get a season 2, I really, really hope we do, uh, because season 1 was just an awesome season, very excited to see season 2, because I'm a huge fan of the show, like I said, and yeah, Moon Knight, absolutely deserving to be high upon to, on the list for me, because I'm a huge fan of the show, like I said a billion times, and you're very excited to see season 2 if you do, but yeah, no, no, number 9 was uh, Moon Knight. Number eight, it's Reacher season one. Oh my god, this is such a surprising show for me. I really had no anticipation with the show. I was like, oh yeah, the cast looks good. Has great lead. You've got bloody, um, what's his name? Hold up, let me, let me get this. Um, you got Alan Richardson as Jack Reacher. He was amazing in this role. And the cast is great. The direction is great. The show's great. I just had a bunch of fun with Reacher Season 1. I cannot wait to see Season 2. Because I'm a huge fan of this show. And yeah, very excited. If we do get a Season 2. Oh, no, we are. Because it's, I think, yeah, filming right now. Hopefully. If I read that right. Uh, but you know, number 8. Happily going to Reacher Season 1. Cannot wait. For hopefully another season. Number seven is The Offer. Now, The Offer is basically the show of the making of Godfather. Yes. Who knew that I'd be liking this show? I had no idea that I would like this show. But The Offer, it was an awesome show. It has a great cast to it. Miles Teller is in here. Miles Teller has definitely grown up to being one of my favourite actors. He's amazing in the show. I know... Some people didn't really enjoy the show, like Rotten Tomatoes with a 57%. What are you doing? This show was awesome. I loved it. It was a great show. Uh, we're not going to get a season 2 because it was like a mini, mini show. But it, yeah, I had so much fun with the offer. Very excited to rewatch this uh, because, you know, it was, it was just a bunch of fun. Really enjoyed my time with it. It literally came out in April, which... Not many shows that I enjoyed came out in April, I think. I might have literally just fit there. I don't know. But number seven was the offer. Number six is Only Murders in the Building Season 2. This show is awesome. I love Season 1. Season 2 is probably a wee bit better than Season 1 for me, personally. But I had so much fun with watching Only Murders in the Building Season 2. It was a bunch of fun. We got cast back. We got Steve Martin, Martin Short, Selena Gomez, great. I don't know how many times I have to say this on my, on my videos. I love murder mysteries. This is a murder mystery show. It worked amazing. And yeah, I loved this season. I can't wait for season three. I think it's coming out. I don't even know when season three is coming out. But I cannot wait to see it. Uh, because I'm a huge fan of the show. And yeah, number six for me was Only Murders in the Building. Season two. We should definitely check this show out. It's on Disney Plus or in America, Hulu. Uh, but, you know, very, very good show. Well, awesome show. 
Number five for me is Welcome to Wrexham. Now this show uh, it stars Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. So this show is basically about, I don't know if you know, uh, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney uh, basically bought a football club uh, called Wrexham FC. And they were quite of a, not that, not that great of a team. So it's like an underdog story on how to like, how they grew the team and make it like a good team. Now they're in like the top three. Which is awesome. And yeah, I had so much fun with the season. Uh, with this season. Hopefully we get a season two. Because this was just a bunch of fun. Such a fun season. And yeah, I just really enjoyed most of this. Well, mostly the whole show. Because it was just a fun, entertaining show. It's on Hulu. Or in New Zealand. Or Australia. Or anywhere that has Star. Sorry. It's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, and yeah. I had so much fun with Welcome to Wrexham, but number five was Welcome to Wrexham. Number four is Blackbird. Blackbird, oh my god, I'm very surprised by this show. Uh, did I have any anticipation for this show? No, I didn't even know what the show was, because I didn't even hear about it until literally the first episode came out. But this cast in the show, Taron Egerton, uh, Paul Walter Hauser, Ray Liotta, great cast. This show was amazing. Um, if you don't know, this is a true story about Jimmy Keane, who was, um, who had a prison sentence of 10, 10 years, and he's trying to confess the suspect killer, Larry Hall. And then, if he does that, he'll be freed. Yes. It's a, it's a very, very good show. And yeah, I had so much fun watching it. The acting is amazing in the show, and the show is just amazing in general. Number three for me, it's Peacemaker. Peacemaker is absolutely number three for me. I had an absolute blast with Peacemaker. Peacemaker, literally, none of the episodes that I watched were even bad. They were all just a bunch of fun. Hopefully we get a season two, because with everything that's going on at uh, DC. Uh, anyway... Peacemaker, it was a great season, it was a great show, and so many laughs in here, uh, and John Cena as Peacemaker, now I was never really a huge fan of John Cena as an actor, but now I've watched the show, he's a fucking good actor, he's really good, being a Peacemaker is absolutely deserving to be in the top 10, I had so much fun with the show, and I already knew that the show was even there. I knew that the show was going to make it into the top 10 because it's that fun. Uh, but number two for me is The Boys Season 3. The Boys Season 3, what a season. What a season. I had so much fun with The Boys Season 3. I love The Boys. The Boys is one of my favourite shows of all time. And yeah, if you haven't watched The Boys, it is such a fun show. Uh, and yeah, The Boys has a great cast to it, if I get it up. You have Anthony Starr's Homelander, Carl Urban, two New Zealand, two New Zealanders in here. How awesome is that? Jack Quaid, Jensen Ackles in the new season from Supernatural. Like, come on. This show is amazing. I had so much fun watching The Boys Season 3. I cannot wait to see Season 4. And also... Uh, Jin V, very excited to see that, but yes, no, The Boy Season 3 is my number 2, but my number 1 show of the year is Stranger Things Season 4, I mean, come on, it's Stranger Things Season 4, there's no, there's no competition there, it's Stranger Things, Stranger Things is one of my favourite shows of all time, I love the show, the season is the best season of the show for me, I cannot wait for Season 5, the final season of the show and when I get there I'll be I'll be sad because that's it that, that, that's all the show gone but um you know Stranger Things season 4 was such a great season uh the buddy last episode is like 2 hours long though Jesus Christ, that was a long episode but I had so much fun with Stranger Things season 4 I cannot wait to rewatch this show because it's just a bunch of fun really and yeah I love Vecna as the villain Vecna was amazing. Uh, amazing. I love the new ads in the show. They were all amazing. And yeah, Stranger Things Season 4. What a season. But thank you for watching my top 10 2022 TV shows ranked 
Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a massive help. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.